Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. I'm Levi Clough. More than 20 tornadoes tore through the Midwest. We've got details. And I'm Logan Moore. It looks like NASA will lose the new race to the moon. Your CSN News starts now. National Honor Society is an organization established to recognize outstanding high school students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Each spring, Columbia's chapter adds new members to its rank. To learn more about National Honor Society and how to join your, our chapter, please plan on attending one of the upcoming informational sessions. To Thursday, March 9th from 2.45 to 3 o'clock p.m., room A201, or Friday, March 10th from 10.45 to 11 o'clock a.m., Wildcat Way, room A201. Want to be a visible part of Columbia's student activities from blood drives to off-campus community service? Maybe work in the alley or plan in Columbia's prep assemblies. If so, ASB election season has begun. The Columbia ASB will be hosting an information table the next two weeks during WCW and lunch where students can sign up to be a class representative or even ASB president slash vice president. Get your form in, be in before March 10th to be considered and join the democratic process. Attention all Sadies guests. In order to assure that 80s Sadies happens this Saturday, enough tickets must be pre-sold to hold the dance. Currently, we do not have enough pre-sold. Purchase your tickets prior to Wildcat Way lunch on Thursday and a final decision will be made then. Please monitor announcements at the end of the day for the most current information. The fourth annual cross check for cancer hockey game will be Tuesday here in our gym. Game time is 7 p.m. and cost is two dollars to get in. All proceeds go to the two individuals we are playing for and helping with their medical costs. This event has raised over fifteen thousand dollars the last three years. Be part of the fun. Higher Ed Day is Friday during 4B for all juniors. Attendance will be taken during each session. This is your opportunity to get information directly from the colleges you are interested. We'll be right back after this. The fourth annual Cross Check for Cancer hockey game is going to be played on March 7th at the Columbia High School. Game time is 7 p.m. and the cost is $2 to get in. All proceeds go to the two individuals we are playing for and helping with their medical costs. But if you have not been there, I guarantee you it will be very enjoyable. Teachers, coaches, and admin from both Columbia and Skyview do battle on the gym hardwood and floor hockey. Please mark it on your calendar, bring your families, and help us do a little part to support others. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression, so visit Dr. Keller today. Today is a high of 48 with a low of 27 and sunny, and tomorrow is a high of 50 with a low of 30 and cloudy. This just in, meteorologists expect severe thunderstorms to spread across the Midwest throughout the day after a string of tornadoes ripped through several states Tuesday. In the wake of the tornado's aftermath, three people were killed. Others injured and cars were scattered on highways. Close to 100 million people are at risk for severe weather through Wednesday afternoon, according to CNN meteorologist Michael Guy. The National Weather Service reported that 22 tornadoes ripped through the states of Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee, Indiana, and Iowa. Highway State Patrol reports a man driving down the freeway was killed south of Perryville, Missouri, after a tornado blew up to 20 vehicles from a junkyard onto the interstate. SpaceX is planned to fly out two private citizens around the moon will put the company ahead of NASA's planned crewed flight with its space launch system, Mega Rocket. Yesterday, SpaceX announced its intention to send passengers on a crewed Dragon spacecraft, launched with a Falcon Heavy rocket, around the moon near the end of 2018. NASA's own mission, which would be the first crewed flight using the SLS and its new Orion spacecraft, is scheduled for 2021. NASA recently began an investigation into whether it could put astronauts on SLS and Orion's first launch, scheduled for 2018, but officials have said that a crewed version of that launch wouldn't fly until 2019, assuming SpaceX is on schedule, its fly around would come first. The SAT word of the day is gesticulate, which means to make gestures or motions, especially while speaking. You can use it this way, after the ref declined to call a foul, the coach's face turned red as he gesticulated wildly. 
Thanks for watching. Remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.